Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Bob, and uh, today I'm here, and uh, I just want to do a talk video about my plethora. I haven't done a video on that in a while, alright? <laughs> like, I haven't, so, I don't want to. Mostly because, um, I'm a bit, I think I want to talk about it, because I, I kind of recently been on it, and I'm like, wow, it's still kind of the same. Obviously it will, because I never do anything special anymore, but, like, I need to figure out a way for, like, because I want to see if I can actually make, have a way to actually fix, you know, my Plex situation. Which, I kind of have a situation, or a problem, to fix it. Now I'm saying this problem will work. It's just my theory. And if it, if my Plex does actually do this, that would be amazing. But, I highly doubt they will. Because I'm not saying this will work. But, it could, but. So, to start off my little uh, way to fix my Plex is, you know, currently looking at their current games. That's where you should focus more. Because my Plex is about mini games, or just games. Alright? These are the games, these 4, 6, 8, 9, I guess. Is this repeated? No. So they have 9 games, alright. Or, or 10. You know, don't don't include Mixed Arcade, that's not. So 9 main, or main games. The reason I don't include Mixed Arcade is because Mixed Arcade is their own thing. They got rid of all the main NPCs, so they cut them off because of, of budget problems. Now, this is where it gets tricky to fix my plugs because there's budget problems. You know, this budget problem could, you know, harm, they did harm Mindplex in a big way. Cause they don't have money anymore. Because over the years, Hypixel, you know, yes, I'm saying Hypixel, if this comes on a Mindplex forum, do not, you know, ban this video. I'm saying the word Hypixel. They overthrew Mindplex. The reason why they actually are succeeding is because they have money and they always produce new games. Which Mindplex can't do. They were thinking of me saying, oh, you can just make new games. They can't, because they have no money to make the games. They only have three developers. And I'll do a map update, which is expected. That was my, um, so, the reason to fix Mindplex is basically focus on their main games that they have, and revamp them. Now, I'm not saying to just revamp, you know, just like with Sky Wars, say they revamp that. With making like four different type of kits, like avatar kits, I call them, like water, fire, magnet, earth. You know, even magnet is an avatar. I don't think, but they they have, you know, these they revamp Sky Wars, which did bring players back. And they played for a little bit until they realized that I'm not just dead again. But if you were to revamp all these games and taking the core of it and just making it more competitive, competitive more, not to your six or seven year old audience, but more of a Competitive towards high pixels players because high pixel players are older. You know, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm using the majority of people, the 2,000, almost 3,000 people. That was like 2,500 people who play Minecraft are roughly around, like below eight. Which the high pixel people, I feel like they're above eight. Or majority of them are above eight, and into like the more preteen slash teenage kind of age where they're more competitive which for obvious reason you want those people because they're actually ones that are competitive and actually can play rather than six or seven rules that can just die instantaneously it's not competitive so they need to revamp it make it advertise it so they look at this person it's probably probably like a six year old or whatever fixing his mouse or whatever i'm just guessing i'm not saying it is it's been here since christmas so i guess not maybe i don't know but you can only assume all these people are like, young, and Hypixel just have these audiences that are bigger and older, that's why there's, you know, they're playing it more, because also the, in the Hypixel games, there's so much more you can do, there's loot crates, chests, you know, all this type of stuff, which Hypix does not have, they don't have their own shop for every single game, if they were to do that, not copy Hypixel, because they love copying Hypixel, but don't copy that, revamp them into your own Mindplex style, Make them do what they did with Skywards, and make it more competitive. Make there be a shop, make there be more achievements in these games. So there will be more, you know, more people going to these. Now, after that's happened, it is the waiting game now. Because, mostly because the waiting, it's because they need money, alright? The waiting game because of money. And the goal that 
a lot of people want is for mixed arcade games to kind of come back as no one NPC. Because mixer, because paintball is there. I like paintball. A lot of people do. You know, everyone likes all the mixed arcade games, but they got rid of those, and it's like, well, why do you do that? You know, because they have no money. But if they get money, that's why it's waiting game now, because they need money back. It's been taking them a year or two. But if they get the money back, they can open up these servers again with, you know, these separate, you know, like, PB is separate from the mixed arcade PB. That's mixed arcade games. This is paintball lo servers. If you get what I'm saying, they're different lobbies. The more lobbies or servers a uh, server has opened, the more money it is. So if they get their money back through these competitive game modes that they have already from the previous the already games that they have left, they can certainly get their money back over time. And after that, maybe more people are coming on. Maybe there's like a couple more thousand players on. Maybe they're getting above ten thousand again. This can actually revive the whole server itself. And they can start making new games again. You know, left, right, and center. They they can if they play it right. Yeah, but they really need to think hard about those starting games if you want to actually do that. And they need to, like, fix their staff as well, because that's, like, kind of another problem here. And I'm just looking at their staff pad here. Um, they, their staff kind of act like jerks a little bit. Or, like, I don't want to say jerks, just weird. In a sense that they don't actually do modding things, and if they do it, they do it incorrectly. Whether you say a word, doesn't matter what inappropriate word, you will just get a friendly warning or whatever. And it's like... Like, sometimes the mods do it wrong, you know? And it's like, it's weird, because all these mods, I think, are, like, pre-teen. Like, they shouldn't be staff on a, a server like this. If it's their friend server, then yeah, that's fine, but... Because I've run servers before, I know this stuff. Like, you shouldn't hire people that are, like, pre-teens or, like, anyone below 14, because they're not gonna know. They don't have experience. What kind of experience does like a 14 or like a 13 year old have with like running it, like being staff on a server? Like, what, how, what server have you ran on? Like, my Plex is like a classic big time server. Well, it was, but they still consider it a big time server. You know, letting all these like young children just be mods on them, and it's like, <laughs> it's not working out because the mods just don't do anything except build things on the staff pad and do weird things. Now, it could be wrong if I don't go on Monthplex anymore. Really look at stuff. Look at the mods, what they do. I could be wrong about this. You could comment down below if I'm wrong, because I'm probably going to be wrong. I'm going to get people pissed off now. Like, I'm a mod on Monthplex. I do my job. Good for you. But, the mods just don't do... See, why, why were you saying that? It's going to be a pet peeve, but that's just my opinion. You should not hire staff that literally are younger than 13. Because that's just not good. Yeah, basically, you know, I may just, I'm just talking about this video just because I've just been on Mindplex recently just trying to do certain things, you know, just play on games, you know. My cousin John, he's kind of in the back and we're playing paintball, you know, mix of MPSs, you know. I'm playing paintball on, you know, Mindplex. You know, doing all this kind of stuff. So. Oh, Hex is doing an MPS. Good for him. Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Why is Hex not my friends with anymore? Eh, whatever. Psh, I don't care. Um. Well, I do care, but, man. Damn. Um. Yeah, so. My Netflix is going down the drain, and I just want to talk, I just want to make videos just so they can help, because I want to help my Netflix. My Netflix is my home server, I do not want to actually die. That's not what I want to do. I don't want my home server to be, like, deleted of itself and just be removed, closed down. No, I don't want that happening, so. I'm trying to help uplift. So to summarize, make, uh, revamp the games completely. Still have the core things in them, I guess. Do we do with Skywars? Make it ten times better. Have a shop. You do all that kind of stuff. Make it revamp. Major revamp it. Make it really good, so people can actually stay on for months and months and months. Do updates on them constantly. Um, actually, another thing I actually saw about is 
changing up the map of the spawn. Do what Fortnite's doing, just make every week changing change something in the spawn. Make a like, storyline in Mineplex. That'll get people to stay on. Because every week if you change the lobby, there will be something new in. Make a storyline. Somewhat coherent coherent storyline. Because you do have characters in Mineplex like Big Larry, the Pumpkin King. You know, uh You know that small Larry, um like the, the Morgan Freeman's Wither Skeleton. You, know, you have all these type of characters in Mineplex that I can literally use and kind of use to your advantage. These are things that you, they, you, you Mineplex made years ago. So, I mean, it's like, you could use these characters again in your own coherent story that is actually somewhat reasonable. You know, kid-friendly. Well, not too kid-friendly, not baby-friendly, but like, teenage-friendly story that everyone can understand. And do something like that. I'm not saying you have to, but it'll be a lot better because this lobby is empty. Like, there's no one around me. There's only people in the main area. This lobby's so confusing. I don't understand why they actually made it this big. Because no one's here. I'm in lobby one. Usually people are in lobby one. You know, a lot of people. You know, no one's going around. No one's exploring. There's just no one here. So it'd be nice if there's actually a landmark area, like, you know, craters. I don't know. Something. That I can put down here, which will actually make it more interesting for players to you know roam around the map because the globe thing that they did when they first opened the spawn were actually very good because it gave people opportunity to actually look around see what is this thing i don't see what this thing is maybe this could be part of a coherent story this weird artifact thing jigger that no one knows about maybe put into your your story i'm saying coherent story cause i'm not saying it's a good story i'm saying it should be like i think it should be a good story but not a story that is too bad that's like no one's gonna follow it you know what i'm saying probably not but just even like this you know just have artifacts and have story have signs or whatever you know have hiding easter eggs that lead to a bigger story do seasons or whatever do like i don't know just do something just get inspired by fortnite I love how I'm lagging, because they should also fix the lag, which they can't do because they have no money. It's like, I can break- Oh, I can't, because they removed that as well, breaking blocks and lobbies. Don't know why. I guess it stopped lag, but it didn't. But I'm lagging. But. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that's what I need to say. And see, this is- That's just this unprofessional, Mindplex. This is real unprofessional. And it completely crashed me out of Minecraft. That's great. Oh, it's offline. That's why. So, sorry about that. Um, my internet crashed. And I have no Wi-Fi, which is great. So, to summarize this video, revamp all the games on Mineplex. Make them, you know, after that, just have, uh, you know, put in, put back the mixed arcade games in your own MPSs. Maybe you can revamp those like you did with the other games if you choose that. And after that, you can fix money to fix your lag problem. And, you know, make me make a new rank, you know, just so people can stay on longer. It doesn't mean that you want is for players to stay on longer. Because the longer they stay on, the longer they're going to have fun on it, alright? They're going to be more interested. The more interesting something is, the longer people are going to stay. So that, with that do as I lag into this block. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, then why don't you like, subscribe, share with all your friends. I'm going to give up and hopefully you've enjoyed this very unedited well, it's gonna be edited, but kinda just un, you know, just this video. So uh, I'm gonna go now, so bye.